Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at store-bought copepod and rotifer culturing system and my DIY rotifer and copepod culturing system. Stay tuned. Many marine fish require rotifers or copepods as a food source. My main reason for harvesting rotifers has been for raising baby clownfish, but in the process I have acquired some mixed copepods and I have enjoyed feeding them to my older clownfish and my marine tank. With the proper equipment and a little bit of effort, Rotifers and copepods are very easy to culture and you'll be able to harvest as many as you could possibly need if you do a few simple things. The very simple things include making sure they have lots of food, making sure they have clean water, and making sure they have a little bit of aeration. They don't ask for anything more than that and a proper salt water mix. For my rotifer, and copepods, I like to keep my salinity at 1.022. The suggested temperature for raising rotifers and copepods is 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I do not do this. Mine stay at approximately 70 degrees Fahrenheit and multiply and do just fine. This is the culture starter kit that I purchased from Reed Mari Culture. It is working very, very well, but I will say it was quite expensive. The only thing that I received other than this bucket with the internal parts is an air pump and a rotifer sieve. My bucket is very dirty right now, but it is still working very well. Very simply, your airline attaches on here, blows down, there is an air stone at the very bottom of this tube. This tube has filter floss wrapped around it with plastic to hold it in place. And it seems to do an excellent job at holding beneficial bacteria in and making great aeration within the bucket. It does trap a lot of uneaten food and waste and does need to be cleaned out every couple of days if you're feeding heavily. One of the best things you can do for your rotifer or copepod cultures is actually harvest them. They should be harvest 30 to 40% of their volume daily. So I wanted another system for my copepods, but I didn't want to pay the $75 and have it shipped from the States. So I decided I'll just make my own. So far it looks great. I haven't actually filled it with water yet, but it looks like it's going to work. The tea is just held in with some three quarter inch ABS caps that are contact cemented into the sides of the bucket. That is just straight through. Airline goes through down to the bottom where there is an air stone. Wrapped with filter floss, some plastic mesh on the outside and some zip ties and voila, you have the exact same copepod or rotifer culture system for about 10 bucks. So this is my existing mixed copepod. There's copepods, rotifers. Uh, the person that uh, I got these off of didn't quite know exactly what was in these buckets, but my larger clownfish and my main tank upstairs with the clownfish parents really enjoy 
eating the copepods that are in this bucket. These are the mixed copepods and some rotifers. These are great, great foods for many, many of your marine fish. These are my type L rotifers. These are a great size for clownfish larvae. So getting it all switched over and filled up, I'm actually quite impressed. It looks like it's functioning just like the store-bought version. I did thin them out quite a bit and fed them so there will be lots of new ones popping up here shortly and I can't wait to see how well the homemade rig works here but so far it looks like it's working good. The Reed Mari culture system comes with a little plastic lid as well. It can be a little bit difficult to deal with but it works well so I made my own version of that as well maybe a little bit easier to deal with um, seems to be working well as I use simply some super six plastic and contact cemented it to the existing bucket lid and obviously cut the center of the bucket out so overall I'm pretty impressed with how easy it was to make my own culture system So foods, we need to feed our copepods and rotifers and probably one of the very best foods you can get, the one I'm trusting right now anyways and it's been working very well is called RG Complete by Reef Nutrition and you can buy that at Reed Mari Culture as well. I would buy a couple bottles at a time as it does go through it fairly quickly. Now if you're needing to enrich your food further for whatever you're feeding your rotifers to. I use Rotogrow Plus. I use Rotogrow Plus for baby clownfish larvae and it seems to be working very well. I'm getting very good clownfish yields and I'm happy with it. This is what I tint my water green with as well in my clownfish tank and my rotifer and copepod buckets. So thank you for watching. And I hope you got some value from this video on starting your own rotifer or copepod cultures. From us to you, happy fish keeping. Until next time, take care.